Well, one of our favorites, Dr. Joanna Wilson's here for another edition of The Doctors. Hello. Hello. Thank you for coming and helping Good us. Good morning. Um, there has been maybe an increase alcohol use on college campuses. Um, I feel like women, uh, young young women, mm -hmm. college women, what, what have you heard about that? What have you... There is an increased incidence of, of alcoholism, specifically alcohol abuse, and it tends to be uh, associated with some sexual assaults and, and problems with vulnerability. Mm. And, and the question really is, why, why are college kids drinking more now? And drinking to get, to get uh, out of consciousness, to lose Ooh, consciousness, right. and putting themselves in, in harm's way. And, and while the data is still very, very young, and there's a lot of research going on, but, but the general consensus is that these highly achieving kids lack resilience or they have poor coping skills, that when they get into a situation where they start to fail or where they start to be challenged in a way that they really hadn't been challenged before, their, their coping skills are not adequate. Do you think it has something to do with selfies, social media? I mean, everything is a now perfect, I kind of, as an adult mm -hmm. woman, kind of look on the, on Facebook or whatever and go, oh, am I, I wish my life was. <laughs> it's the, it is. It's the illusion of, of perfection. Okay. And, and these girls want to maintain that. They want to, to give everybody else the perception that they are doing great and that they are coping and their grades are terrific and they're, um, you know, their, their skills sure. are, are top notch. But in reality, we really want to be on the lookout. For, okay. for these transitions and, and for evidence that maybe they might not be coping so well. If they, if they tend to talk about um, abusing alcohol or okay. they, they talk about how lonely they are or the fact that they, they failed a test and now they don't know what to do or a boyfriend broke up with them, we really want to keep our ears open for our sisters or our kids yes. or, or our friends who are transitioning into these really high stress times and may not be transitioning healthily. Now, for more advice and, and, of course, talk to your doctor, where can we find you, Dr. Wilson? I'm at Amarillo Diagnostic that? Clinic, okay. and my, my practice is called HerCare. Love it. And you see a lot of mothers and daughters, right. too, in your practice. That's right. And, and so we have to ask ourselves those tough questions and, and seek help when it's necessary. All right. Always good information. Always Thank good you, to Allie. see you. Thank you so much, Doc.